two would show up at nap time. Have a cold one. Gone native, shipwreck? Which doctor's orders? Resting and relaxation. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Rob, and I'm sitting at Destro's desk. And today, I have got a treat for you. We are unboxing and taking a closer look at the brand new wave of G.I. Joe classified figures. This is a shipwreck. And I have been waiting for this guy ever since classifieds were announced. Um, one of my favorite uh, Joes. And I'm actually surprised he wasn't out uh, a little bit sooner and a sooner wave because of uh, his popularity in the show. But um, he is here now and uh, I'm super pumped to uh, get this guy opened up. So let's take a closer look. All right, as you can see, this is the uh, brand new packaging uh, style that Hasbro is uh, going with for the uh, upcoming classified figures. Um, different colors on the box, not the blue uh, before. Um, also, obviously doesn't have the window in the package, but uh, I really like this packaging. Um, I like how they've got the artwork on here. They've got the picture of the uh, figure and uh, the accessories that come with it. So just looking at it straight on, you can see everything that uh, you're getting. And uh, I just think the colors they've used um, looks really good. So hats off to the uh, packaging style. Uh, as you can see, we have GI Joe classified on the top. And on the, the side, we have that artwork again of Shipwreck and uh, his parrot Polly. He is number 70 in the line. Um, on the back, we see that, uh, again, his size, uh, his height in this is 6.3 inches. Um, it shows his accessories. He comes with uh, some different hair, so he can, it's not wearing the sailor's cap. It'll be interesting to see how that looks uh, in person. Um, you got Polly, his parrot, we got two guns, we got uh, some rope, and uh, we've got a hook. And this side, uh, they've put on this new QR code that you can scan, and that will bring up uh, some info on Shipwreck. He's got the symbols on the side, not sure what those symbols are meaning, but I'm thinking that maybe this uh, QR code um, will explain more about that, so I will uh, definitely check that out later. So that is the box. I think the new packaging that Hasbro's got going on here is awesome. But let's get this guy opened up and let's see for ourselves how he looks. Okay, so I'm gonna open this one up from the bottom. I just prefer opening it from the bottom. It uh, saves the top, still sealed. So inside we have right out of the box there he is and we also have his weapons case as you can see shipwreck on the side again it's number 70 in the series we have the GI Joe logo and inside We have our tissue paper bag. And we will open up this. All right, so I think we'll look at these accessories in a minute. Let's get old shipwreck out of the box. They put this new piece of cardboard on the top so that the figures aren't rattling around quite as much. So there he is there. Looking pretty good. All right, let's get him out of the box. All right, and out of the box, there we have the man, Shipwreck. Looking good. So, we'll take a closer look at this guy. Just noticing there's a little fold here. And his. All 
All right, so up close, there is the head sculpt. Which is looking pretty good. Now in another uh, uh, video I saw for Shipwreck, there is a, uh, they kind of missed some spots here on the beard. Um, what was um, sculpted in as uh, his beard, they've uh, kind of missed a little bit and kept the beard to kind of a straighter line. Um, it's like that on both sides. Not the end of the world, um, but uh, did notice that. Uh, there's a little crease here the way it was packaged uh, in his hat, in his sailor hat, so I'm not too happy about that, but hopefully we can get that uh, straightened out. Um, his head sculpt looks pretty good though. The hair looks really good. It's well done. Lots of detail in there. I like how he's got the uh, one eyebrow is pointing up. Kind of Jack Nicholson style. I like that. Um, as you can see, Shipwreck has a hairy chest, which he obviously likes to expose, maybe to the ladies. He's wearing his uh, signature blue um, shirt, sailor shirt. On the arm or the shoulder, we have a, uh, a graphic on there, a patch uh, for the military. Same on the other side which looks really good. Something new um, they've started doing, Hasbro started doing is uh, they're getting into doing tattoos on these figures, which are looking pretty good. Um, this one looks good. It is uh, actually kind of, it's made to look a little bit faded, which is good. Um, so it looks like he's had that tattoo for a while. And on his other arm, he has got a shark on there, which looks pretty cool, but it's actually in color and it's a little bit um, brighter. So it looks like it's a newer tattoo that Shipwreck has received, but uh, great looking tattoo there. There's a little bit of red on there and the gills for the shark, um, but overall it's awesome. There is a peg hole here. I believe that will be for Polly for him to hold. Uh, moving down. This, um, he has a belt. Um, he's got his belt underneath here for his pants, which actually has a really cool uh, belt buckle on it, which is a uh, anchor painted in gold, which is awesome. Um, then he has this other other belt that has a, uh, a pocket in it right here. Um, it's also got a hook, which I'm thinking is probably for the grapple hook. Uh, he's got a holster for the one gun, which is looking a little bit bigger. And on this side, he's got a smaller uh, gun holster, which is has black straps that uh, just sit around his legs there. Uh, and looking at his pants, um, looks like it's a new sculpt for pants, uh, which actually looks really good. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of a wash here on the thighs, which uh, gives a little bit of a wear, worn look. Um, also, the boots um, look like a new sculpt. I don't think anybody else in the line has, uh, has boots like this. Has even got a bit of a shine on them, which looks pretty good. Um, on his, for his hands, it looks like he's wearing uh, some black gloves on both sides articulation i'm not going to go into too much it's the same standard uh classified you got your uh your shoulder movement which is usual he's got the uh, pinless uh, elbow joints he's got the uh, ab crunch which can actually move back and forth pretty good uh his head up and down, lots of movement there, side to side. So he's got lots of movement on his head, upper body, um, all movement. Uh, legs, standard uh, pinless knee joints. Um, these ones actually are a little bit looser out of the box than previous figures, but that's not a bad thing because there's less risk of breaking them. They're still tight enough that uh, you can move them fairly easily. 
so that is uh, basically shipwreck as the figure now we'll take a closer look at uh, some of these accessories all right for the accessories uh, first we'll take a look at his pet that would be good old Polly looks pretty well sculpted lots of detail for the feathers um, there is the eyes are actually red he's got a dark gray or black beak and uh, there's the peg right there which will peg into uh, shipwrecks uh, forearm and I believe there's um, a hole on the rope but we'll take a look at that so Polly looks pretty good that's awesome uh, it does come with the uh, grapple hook, which is awesome. It's um, actually kind of a uh, rubbery plastic, probably so no one will get hurt and it doesn't look like a sharp object. Uh, I'm not sure. If it's either molded in a metallic plastic or it is painted in a metallic gray silver, but uh, it shines, looks really good. Um, and then we've got his rope that goes around him. Um, on the top, there is the peg hole there, so uh, Polly can sit on his shoulder. Um, the other end has a little hook on there, which I'm assuming we will be able to um, hook the grapple hook onto. Just like that. And lots of nice detail on the rope. Um, standard uh, mold in plastic or this color of plastic to uh, look like rope the uh, silver paint app on there for that little hook so that looks pretty good and it's uh, it's movable it's bendy it's not uh, rigid or anything so that's awesome there uh, weapons so we've got this uh, double barrel pistol um, it's got uh, a couple different paint apps on it. It's got some really nice, the uh, shiny silver metallic. Uh, on this part of the gun, the handle is uh, in a flat black. And uh, it's got this little piece of rope hanging off there. I guess uh, if he has to, he can hang it off uh, that hook. If for some reason he can't put it in this holster. So there's that gun there. And then this gun. It's just a little pistol. Uh, just mold it in black plastic. I don't know if you can see that. There's actually some uh, some pretty nice uh, detail on the gun. There is a uh, what looks like an anchor and rope on the handle, and uh, across the, the top piece here of the gun, it's uh, I guess supposed to look like more rope that's just uh, twisted along. So that's awesome. It looks like they're. Uh, trying to make there's some of the weapons to be um, true to the character um, personal uh, preferences not just any generic weapons so that's good I like that I like that detail a lot that looks really good very nice to see and finally um, I don't think I've ever seen shipwreck uh, without his sailor's hat on but um, he does come with this hair piece so we can uh, so let's take a look at that let's put that other hair on there so the hat and the other hair that came on it just comes off really easily and this hair just sits on very easily nice and snug fits perfectly um, I don't know what do you think looks pretty good Yeah, looks really well. Well done. Well done, Hasbro. So far, so good. But for me, he's got to stay true to his character, and we have to be able to see that uh, that sailor's hat. All right, now I'm going to uh, start putting some of these accessories on him. 
Uh, I believe he will be, be able to carry all his accessories. So as far as the guns, we have we have this one here, the double barrel pistol, which just fits in nice right there. And we have the other pistol. in there and then we can put the put the hook on so we can put it on here it can hang off from there or I'm pretty sure we can hook it off this uh, his rope so let's see here all right well he lost his hat and his hair trying to do that but uh, Oops. I just don't like that part right there. Just have to stretch that out. Okay, so he's got his rope on. We can hang the grapple hook. I guess that probably looks a little bit better back there. And then, uh, depending on where we want to put Polly, uh, takes a little bit of effort to get that in there. So we can have Polly on a shoulder like that, or we can put Polly. on his uh, forearm there all right so everything is on except his uh, hair I don't think I'm gonna be using the hair uh, for displaying him he uh, I think he looks pretty good the way he is just like that I love how all the weapons and accessories uh, that come with these figures all fit on them. So there's usually nothing left behind. Well, we put, uh, we'll put Shipwreck in a couple of poses here and we'll give it the old 360 look. All right, there we got Shipwreck holding his gun. Uh, Polly's up on his shoulder. Everything fits really nice and snugly. No issues that I see whatsoever. So um, other than that little fold in his cap, uh, a little bit, maybe just some paint on his uh, face where his beard is. Other than that, this is the figure that I've been waiting for and I couldn't be happier. So um, I think that anybody that is a, is a big fan of Shipwreck in the G.I. Joe uh, series, uh, you got to have this figure. Definitely got to have this figure. Get them opened up and get them on your shelf as soon as you can because uh, this is an awesome figure. I'm super happy to have it. So Hasbro's done a good job on this one. Um, the word out there is that their, their quality is getting better um, as figures go on. Overall, I think it looks like a great figure. So um, in the description, I will leave a couple sites uh, where you can get him. Hasbro Pulse, I'll throw Big Bad Toy Store on there. Um, also, I'll throw some Canadian uh, sites on there too because shipwreck is just starting to be uh, released and all pre-orders are being fulfilled right now so um, if you haven't pre-ordered them if you don't have them on the way i suggest you get out there and get him uh, ordered or picked up at your local store as soon as you can because uh, this one they did a really good job so We'll finish it off with a 360 look, and uh, thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit that like button, and even if you feel like sharing it, go ahead and share it. So from Desto's desk to you and Shipwreck, we'll see you next time.